Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. As you may already know, WordPress is free open source website management software. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to install the self-hosted version of WordPress. It's available from wordpress.org onto your own hosting and website address. At this point, I've already got my hosting set up, but if you need to purchase hosting, then you can find some recommended hosts on mythemeshop.com. But with your host set up, and then you should find that your host offers cPanel, which is a control panel for web hosts. And from cPanel, you want to log in there and then scroll down until you find a Soft Delicious Apps Installer. You should find this under Software. And if you don't see this, you might find a specific button for WordPress. And you can just click Soft Delicious Apps Installer there. You'll either find WordPress under Top Applications, as I can here, or if you click on Blogs, and you can then choose WordPress from that drop down. And to install it, you just need to click Install. If you have SSL available with your hosting, then you can enable that there. If you have multiple domains, you can choose uh, which domain to set it up with, but I've only got the one, so I'm going to set it up with myawesomedesign.com. If you want to install WordPress at a specific directory, for example, forward slash blog, then you can just type that in there. Um, or if you want to install it on the root, so it's just that .com or .net or whatever domain extension, then you can leave that blank there. That needs to be a directory that does not exist, and you don't need to add any slashes to it. You can choose the database, which is not something you'll need to worry about. The name, those defaults will be fine. You can choose your site name, for example, my awesome design, and then you can have a site description. You can choose whether to enable WordPress multi-site, which is something you'll probably not want to do. You can choose your admin username and then password, and you can just click this button here to generate a secure password. You can set your admin email, choose a language, and select whether to install a limit login attempt plugin. Um, that just adds some extra security and will stop people trying to brute force attacks to just guess your password. And then here you have some advanced options, such as uh, if you want to disable update notifications, auto upgrading, which you'll probably want to turn on, um, auto upgrading plugins, and also themes. And you can just turn those on by clicking those buttons there. And then you can also choose whether to email your installation details to your email address, but you don't have to there. And if you do, you just need to enter your email address and then click install. It's going to check the data you've submitted and then your host is going to install the software and you can see that's only taken a moment. If I now visit um, my website, myawesomedesign.com and hit refresh there, then we can see I've got my WordPress blog set up. And if we click on this link here to the administrative URL, then you can add your username and password that you've just created. Hit the remember me, press login and then you're going to be taken to the WordPress dashboard. And it's from here that you can set up everything to do with your site and start your WordPress journey. That's how easy it is to install WordPress on your own hosting, self-hosted version of WordPress. Hope that's been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.